is Lynn, day 16 of the 22 push-up challenge. I just wanted to say a couple of words today about extreme sports. I was doing some research on our combat veterans, PTSD, and other mental health and physical health issues that they face when they return home. And what really popped, I know I've put a, a couple of articles up on this before, but what really popped was the use of extreme sports in the treatment, particularly of PTSD. And I think it's got to do with a lot of things, uh, including um, being in the face of danger <clears throat> and having to follow through, uh, not just for yourself, but for the people that you're with to make sure people are able to do the activity safely and, uh, and enjoy it as well. And I think that uh, extreme sports are not always extremely dangerous, but they are extremely challenging. Uh, and they can be very unpredictable. So a uh, really great uh, alternative work being done largely through uh, occupational therapists and social workers, which is great. Huge shout out to the OTs and the social workers. Uh, all of you guys work really, really hard. Both of those are tough jobs, but particularly big shout out to you guys who, uh, from social work and OT who work with our combat vets. So I've posted a couple of articles that are really interesting. One is from The Wounded Soldier, which is a publication for combat vets that focuses on uh, issues around PTSD and dealing with PTSD, this kind of thing. Uh, nice little resource for our combat veterans and their families and for interested people. Uh, I've also put up uh, a couple of articles on bungee jumping and paddle boarding which uh, look to be really fun and really challenging activities. And uh, I know when we're faced with that kind of activity, it kind of pulls us out of the rest of our life. So uh, some really good ideas in the literature and, uh, and again through our OTs and our um, social workers here in Canada, the US. And I haven't found anything in Britain, but I would not be surprised if Britain and the rest of the UK, uh, especially in the social work and OT realm, uh, was doing a, a similar work. Anyhow, I hope that's helpful. I'm going to dig around and see if I can find some more really interesting uh, articles and alternative ways of dealing uh, for our combat vets who've returned home and are facing mental health issues and, uh, and their families. All right, so I've switched up my surface again. I'm on my mom's front lawn, my mom and dad's front lawn, and I'm gonna do my best to do my 22 push-ups. keep my arms in. Let's see if I can do them all in a row. So let's see what happens today. Here we go. I think that was all 22. I'm going to keep doing my push-ups, keep bringing you guys some really interesting information. Maybe I'll be in shape to do some more extreme sports soon as well. Surfing's my thing, but I've also uh, got a great interest in things like climbing, caving, spelunking, uh, bungee jumping, if I could get up the nerve. So uh, yeah, thanks to everyone for listening, watching the vids, sharing the information, and keeping the conversation going regarding our combat veterans and the issues they face, mental health and otherwise, when they return home from combat. Thanks so much, people. See you tomorrow for day 17. Ciao. Protect the protectors. Love our veterans.